Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media, and uh, I know not everyone likes me. Uh, this video is likely not going to be seen by the people that don't really like me because that wouldn't make a lot of sense, but uh, I share my opinion online a lot, specifically about EDM stuff, but I share my opinion, and obviously that's just opinion. I think there's some realm of objectivity and subjectivity to all of my opinions. I think stuff is, uh, obviously I like it in some areas, but there's other times where it's like, it's definitely objectively sort of good or sort of bad based off some other things. And uh, some people just don't agree with that all the time. And that's okay. So that's what this video is going to be. We're going to be looking at some mean comments where people uh, didn't like what I had to say. This first one's from the Artist All Time album tier list that I made and it says, horrible list. You obviously just recently started listening to EDM with you take on Armin and Tiesto. Uh, first of all, I think there's three classes of people that listen to EDM for the most part, generally. I think there's your commercial people, people that listen to lots of Chainsmokers, Marshmallow, David Guetta, Tiesto, and they're like, this is EDM. This is the big grand scheme of EDM. You got your Medusa in there, your good boys as well. And Martin Garrix is like, as like good as they get, I think this is the best way to put it. Um, then you got your heavy, heavy bass people. Uh, this is your, um, your never say die rip, uh, disciple, disciple round table, the kind of really, really heavy bass music. That's a little more, um, a little more in its own sphere. Then you have your kind of in between niche people that, uh, like some stuff like I would say monster cat or NCS and other, and follow other smaller labels and artists and also don't really like the heavy stuff and don't really like the commercialized stuff and kind of like their own in between and everyone likes their own stuff. But uh, more often than not, the commercial people will come and say that, oh my gosh, how can you say this? This is the best. This person changed the scene. They did everything. And um, it's just not true. I think there's some realm of objectivity again and subjectivity and uh, we can find an, an equal balance, but um, yeah. Oh, this one's great. This comes from the David Guetta and BB Rexa blue reaction that I did. This video didn't age well, not gonna lie. It's currently number one on billboards right now. Ha ha ha. And I said, popular doesn't mean good because popular doesn't mean good. This is what I said, the David Guetta fans. They replied with Apotime Media, popular. And then the diction, it's clearly they just copy pasted what the online definition says. Uh, adjective, number one, liked, admired, or enjoyed by many people or by a particular person or group. Dog, what are you on? And I just laughed back. Um, liked, admired, or enjoyed by many people doesn't make it good. You can like something that's horrible. You can like bad things. It doesn't make it good. Just because it's popular doesn't, that's like, this isn't even, this This isn't even right here. Like I, this, what, did you, re did you read your own comment? It's not right. This isn't, I, okay, whatever. I, I can't argue with this, I guess. I just, just got to laugh at it. This comes from the Dead Man Walking Grant and Ellis reaction I did. Uh, this one's not so much of a mean comment, but is it actually? Never seen you before, but your face kind of remind me of Gru from the Minions. Don't take this as something bad because it's not ugly or anything. It's just similar to him. I don't know how to take this. Thanks. Oh, and this is a fun one. So uh, I did a reaction to the Owl City and Armin Van Buren and I think Gareth Emery track that I thought was absolutely horrible. And um, I had a lot of Owl City stands come and defend Owl City for that track, even though it was he was just a vocal feature on it. But um, Owl City World responded and said, Epotomedia, well, your opinion is not the only one that matters, mate, smiley face. I know that. I, I know that. I, I know that, sir, how dare you? Everyone has their own opinions and you're allowed to be wrong. I can't get mad at that, That that's that's pretty funny. This next one comes from my uh, Sirens reaction from Flume. I cringed the whole time watching, you can't even finish this video. I did Like, can I not finish this video? Or like, he's talking to someone else that's saying like, they, you can't, or like they're talking to themselves in second person. Like you can't even finish this video or like, talking to someone else, like it's actually supposed to be a comment for someone else saying, you can't finish this video. Or I, like I finished the, like the video, I did the video, like it's done. So you just, it can't be me. It has to be like them in second person or talking to someone else. Also, I'm, am I cringe? This comes from the Sullivan King and Ray Volpe reaction I recently just did. Did you know you look like a young Elon Musk? No, I don't, I, I don't think so. This one comes from a This Week in EDM that I did. This is great. This guy literally has no clear direction in making videos at all. Lamau. You know, kind of fair. 
Sometimes I don't know what I want to do. Sometimes I want to do reviews. Sometimes I want to do reactions. Sometimes I want to do this. Sometimes I wear a bow tie. Most of the time I don't. Kind of fair, but also you're not made to say that. I know that. And the last one for this video and my favorite comment I have ever received on a video ever. I bet Mr. Bowtie uses toilet paper to wipe his poo, so he has dingleberries and doo-doo crust left over. I just got flamed for not having a bidet? I think that's what this says. I think I, I think I just got flamed for not having a bidet. And here's the, here's the thing. This isn't even like it's like a copy paste or some spam robot account. It literally says Mr. Bowtie. I bet Mr. Bowtie. Like they specifically went to this video and goes, you know what? This guy, he doesn't have a bidet. I bet you he has to wipe a lot. And I do. Again, you don't have to call me out for it though.